Hi, I'm Ronnie Fields and I'm the food artisan. And on today's episode, we're going to be making one of my favorite first courses. It's a roasted beet with truffled goat cheese salad. And what makes it so special is the champagne vinaigrette dressing. And I'm going to be taking you through the process and show you just how simple it is to make. And then we're gonna be adding some carrot carrot oranges to the salad and some pistachios. With all of those vibrant colors playing off of one another, then we're gonna do my favorite part and we're gonna plate it. And before we get started today, I just wanna mention something not in my trailer or my first episode. As you know, if you watch those, you know how passionate I am about cooking, people, and entertaining. So I also am very passionate about music. Music inspires me, and it's also a part of my cooking process. So when I prep, I listen to smooth jazz or opera or something a little bit more mellow, and that's only because one time I was listening to some dance music and I accidentally cut myself because I was dancing. So no more sharp objects, no more prepping and listening to dance music. That comes later when I'm doing the cooking. So anyway, I just want to let you know that that's, that's something that I incorporate into my process. I love music and it's so much more fun cooking when you've got music playing in the background. So anyway, I just wanted to add that before we get started. All right, well, let's get started on that roasted beet and goat cheese salad. Okay, so we're gonna get started on the champagne vinaigrette dressing. I've got the food processor out right now and I've got everything prepped for us. Um, we have one tablespoon of chopped shallots and one tablespoon of uh, chopped garlic. Right here we have uh, half a cup of champagne vinegar and two tablespoons of sugar. We've got three quarters of teaspoon of salt and one half teaspoon of pepper. Then we're gonna be adding a tablespoon of uh, Dijon mustard and a cup and a half of canola oil. By prepping everything out, it just makes everything so much more easier. So uh, all I have to do now is just start adding the ingredients to the food processor all at once. So it makes it really, really easy. So here we go, we've got our champagne vinegar going in, and then we've got our garlic and shallots in there, and we've got our S&P going in. Got some sugar, gotta have a little sugar in this, and a tablespoon of Dijon. There we go. Okay, so now we are all ready to pulverize this. There we go. And I'm just gonna pulse this until it gets to be the consistency that I wanna see. So just kind of pulse it. So now it's time to taste this. Oh, it looks so good, nice and creamy. Oh, that is perfect, just perfect. Now we're gonna get started cutting our carrot carrot orange into segments. All right, so we're gonna get started cutting our carrot carrot orange. And what makes them so special is that, you know, they've got like a pink-like flesh to them and they're a little bit sweeter and not as sour as other oranges are. So what we're gonna do is to start our supreme cuts, I'm just going to trim the pulp off the orange. So we'll kind of curve around and we're just gonna go around until all of that pulp is removed because the pulp is um, pretty bitter and we don't want to have any any pulp on our segments. Just gonna trim that up. 
I'm going to take our ends off there. There we go. All right, so now you can see we've got all of our pulp is gone. All right, and now if you can see here inside the segments, we're just going to cut in between um, the lining of these segments. And that's how we're going to get our supreme cuts. And there's one of them. Okay. okay, I think that's about enough to get us started. Okay, now that we're done doing our supreme cuts, now it's time for my favorite part, the plating process. So let's get this roasted beet and goat cheese salad plated. All right, let the plating begin. I've already started the plating with some microgreens. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna slice some of our black truffle goat cheese and I'm gonna add it to the center of the plate. And then I'm going to add some of our roasted beets that I roasted earlier. I just uh, rub them in olive oil and put some uh, foil around them and I roasted them in the oven at 375 for about an hour. And then uh, you can rub off the outer part of them with a paper towel. They're really easy to do. All right, so I'm gonna start out with three beets because uh, as you know, if you watch my first episode, I do a lot of things in threes, fives, and sevens, all odd numbers, just like I'm doing some interior decorating in a home. I'm gonna add uh, one of our Kara Kara segments. Another one here. And the last one over this way. Okay, so we've got our caracaras, our roasted beets. And now I'm gonna sprinkle some pistachios on the plate. We've got pistachios on there. That's gonna add some really, really good texture to the dish. And then I've got our champagne vinaigrette. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of that. Let's get that drizzled on the plate, just like that. All right, perfect. And then I'm gonna add some edible flowers. I've got Gerber daisies, I've got some pansies and mums. And these are absolutely delicious and they're also really high in vitamin C. Uh, so you can look forward to uh, some future episodes where I'm going to be focusing in on just edible flowers. And I'm just going to add them around the plates, around the sides, and there's a couple there. Do one over here. All right, and now we have got our first course. Let's wipe the plate a little bit. And now we're ready to serve. I just know that you're gonna love this dish and your guests are gonna love this dish. It is one of my favorite first courses. So enjoy. And also uh, just wanted to let you know that uh, I have all the recipes and everything and ingredients needed for this dish uh, right down below. So check it out down there in the description. I have everything down there and also stay tuned for uh, the next episode because I'm going to be making something with a red dragon fruit. And it is another course that is a favorite of mine. And it's also, of course, another very colorful dish to plate. So that's gonna be fun. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you for joining me on this episode. And I look forward to seeing everyone in future episodes. If you like what you see, please uh, like everything and subscribe to the channel. And then also um, hit that little bell down below too. That is gonna alert you whenever I have a new episode. So once again, have a great rest of your day and thank you for watching The Food Artisan.